Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Detritus Worm Microfauna Aquarium, and this is Bucket Ponds. I have a great update for you today. You're going to love it, and uh, let's jump right in. So this is the Microfauna Aquarium. It's been running for over a year now, and I've seen quite a few people on YouTube who have emulated my style. They've set up their own little Microfauna Aquariums using critter keepers and things like that of course they include duckweed and that's great you know i love to inspire you guys i hope that you build more projects uh, this is the microfauna aquarium and as you can see it is absolutely packed full of detritus worms uh, paramecium aquatic earthworms ostracods uh, copepods all sorts of creatures some of which i cannot even identify and uh yeah those are not duckweed roots. These are not particles of plants. These are living, uh, functioning, reproducing little worms. These guys are great feed for small fish, and they're also very useful for their ability to break down organic matter in an aquarium. Uh, lately, I've been including them in some of our most recent ecosphere projects to a great amount of success, and I'm very, very proud to see them doing so well in this tank. In the last video on this subject, on this particular aquarium, uh, I made some predictions. It was about one year ago, and I happened to mention that, you know, in time, uh, the detritus worms might make a resurgence. We might see them achieve the great numbers that we had before, and it looks like that's happened, you guys. So up here near the duckweed, you can see some of our larger uh, segmented worms up here moving throughout the duckweed layer, and you can see quite a few of the aquatic detritus worms down below as well as some ostracods and things buzzing around. Uh, the duckweed level in these types of projects, um, the duckweed acts as like a habitat or a substrate on its own, and it can host a great number of different species. So uh, duckweed is really cool to me. A lot of aquarium keepers don't like it, but when you're doing things like this, uh, these live cultures, these nano aquariums with these uh, invertebrates, duckweed can be very useful. Now, there are some creatures in here that I cannot even identify, and I'm hoping that maybe you can help me with that. In particular, these little shrimp-like uh, insectoid creatures here, these little guys. Now, they might be an instar of some kind of insect larva, but I highly doubt it, as there are no insects in this room. No insects that we have not accounted for, anyway, <laughs> other than diving beetles and things of that nature. But I cannot identify those little guys, and they are very interesting to me. I like the way that they move. But if you look closely, you can see some of our larger worms moving throughout the project. We have some tubaflex in here, or our version of tubaflex. <laughs> and we have some of our large uh, segmented aquatic earthworms. We have tons of life in this project, and I'm so happy with it. Now, in the last video, I did say that uh, that would probably be the last time that we covered the microfauna aquarium. But... I <laughs> I must have lied. I don't know what to say. Um, I have abandoned this tank for the last few months. I have not been doing any upkeep, and the plants have spread like wildfire, and it's time to trim some things up and clean it up a bit. So this is a wild type of climbing dayflower that I found it near my home. Or I should say a wild type of dayflower. But we're going to make some cuttings with our little shears here, and this process is very simple. We just cut the plant and we peel the bottom leaf off, and then we put it in some water. Uh, that right there will grow into a long stem, and it will spread and reproduce and grow even more uh, dayflower as time goes by. This wild dayflower that we collected a while back, um, it does grow uh, much faster than our climbing dayflower, and it does not wilt as much, so I'm very happy to have that. Our climbing dayflower is a bit more vulnerable. It will wilt, and... Uh, yeah, it's responsible for a lot of those wilted leaves that you see in the aquarium right now. Now, when you're building or when you're making cuttings like this, you don't want to have too many in one jar because they will uh, intermingle. They will lock together. And here you can see the microfauna aquarium has actually uh, tied itself to a few of the other projects here on the windowsill. And we're going to have to fix that. So here we are after a bit of maintenance, some trimming and cleaning things up a bit. Any wilted leaves, I simply tuck down into the water, and that will act as food for the various small creatures in there. I have to clean up these other projects in the background, but for now, this is pretty nice. Now, these dayflower plants, if it reaches another aquarium, it will grow into that tank, and uh, they'll spread like wildfire. They're really cool. 
Uh, the Microfauna Aquarium is pretty dark, but uh, that's not a trick of the light. It just, it's a dark tank. So we're going to put it back there on the windowsill. Here's our cuttings that we've made. And I'm pretty happy with these. We'll use these to start other projects in the near future. Day flower is very, very easy to work with. And I highly suggest it if you need a emergent plant for a nano aquarium. So that's the <laughs> that's the planted microfauna aquarium, you guys. And I have seen some other YouTubers out there who are building similar projects, and I'm very happy to inspire you guys. Please set up your own projects. Have fun. You know, let's do this stuff together. I would uh, be happy to cooperate with any other YouTubers. I'm happy to share uh, details and show you guys how I built this tank. There are, I believe, five other videos in this series of this particular aquarium showing how it was set up, uh, what I used to start the project, and uh, everything from step one. So I'm not a scientist, you know, I'm not a biologist. I can't, like, give you the exact details of how to culture these tiny detritus worms. But I can show you through first-hand experience uh, what we used to set up the tank and what we did over time to create this type of environment. I'm very happy to see all of these little creatures in here, you guys. And we have taken this opportunity to take samples and add them to our other projects. I am particularly interested in getting a swarm like this to occur in an ecosphere, in a sealed aquarium. That's one of my future goals. And I believe that they would do very, very well when it comes to breaking down plant matter, uh, cleaning up the tank, and just providing a nice, interesting ecosphere to observe. So this video is a little shorter than some of our other projects. But I, I am sick. I have a cold. It's pretty hard for me to talk right now. My audio might not be the best, and I hope you can forgive me for that. I'm hoping that the tank speaks for itself. I hope that you guys enjoy the swarm of detritus worms. Hundreds of thousands of them in here. And please keep in mind that I haven't been feeding this tank much lately. So it's pretty much reliant on sunlight and plants grown in the aquarium. And, uh, you know, they drop a leaf. They break down the... The microfauna, they go in there, they consume that leaf, and life continues. So this is an ecosystem built primarily upon sunlight, bacteria, fungi, and plant growth. And I think that's really cool. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, <laughs> and I'm very happy with this project. I will include links to the various different videos about the microfauna aquarium in the description below. And please keep in mind, this is actually the second iteration of this aquarium. Uh, years ago, we built another one of these where we achieved great numbers of detritus worms as well. And I'll include some of those links uh, in the description below. But this is the Microfauna Aquarium. This is a real swamp in a jar. This is a pond in a jar, and I'm very happy with it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. I love to hear from you guys. This is Bucket Ponds. My name is Terry, and I hope that you have a great day.